Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I'm in. Um, I'm here today to show you how to work the digital fonts here at Condi. The new downloads on our digital download site for fonts only. Uh, how to use those in Corel Draw, and I'm going to create a second video on how to create how to use them in Photoshop versions as well. So the digital download for fonts can be used in both Photoshop and Corel Draw. First thing you need to do is you're going to go to the web page and download them. You're going to create a folder on your desktop, and you're going to save them in that folder. And then you go. Then we're going to go in and install them. Open the application, and I'm going to show you how to use them as well. And this is for Corel Draw, and would work with all Corel Draw versions. So let's get started. Go into the web page. You're going to go to condi.com. You're going to type condi, so nde .com. Press your enter. Just click on anything up here in the blue. Over to the left in the blue, you're going to see digital downloads. Now, they're not there yet, but they will be as soon as these videos are up. This is where you'll come to get them. All this is digital downloads. This is our digital download page. Up here in the menu, you'll find a font icon where you can click fonts. And for a small fee, I think around 99 cents, not sure, might be a little more, you can get your digital downloads and save them to your desktop. Once we have them saved, I'm going to close this for now, I want you to create um, a folder to put them in. So you can save them anywhere on your PC or laptop, and then drop them somewhere where you can, or basically save them into somewhere where you have them. I'm going to drop them in here because I have them on my flash drive. And I'm going to call them fonts. Okay. Now I'm going to go get them from my flash drive. I'm going to put this folder over here where I can get to it. And I'm going to go to start my computer. And here's my flash drive. This is where I've saved mine. Harold's monograms. and they're all right here. So, to show you how to install all the fonts. Now, this is a instruction, a readme file that you can open in Adobe PDF file. And we can go ahead and open it. This has the instructions on how to use the fonts once they're installed. So keep in mind that this is an alternative to the video on how to use, or just to keep open and read along as you're doing your um, training on your fonts and how to use them in Corel. Okay? Uh, the way you use this instruction would be used in both Corel and Photoshop. So I'm going to minimize it and get it off to the side for now. And I want to show you how to install the font. So these icons you see here, the O's and the T's, this is a PDF file. This is These three are Photoshop files. We're going to highlight the top left one, and then we're going to come over here and hold our shift key down and highlight the bottom right. What I recommend is you copy and then go to Start Menu. We're going to drop them in the folder on your hard drive. From the Start Menu, you're going to click My Computer. You're going to double click the C drive. You're going to find your Windows folder here. Everything's in alphabetical order. Double click Windows. Then you're going to find your fonts folder. This is this is as well, or two, it's in alphabetical order, so you're going to double click fonts. And then right click in a white area and you're going to paste. Now mine is already in here, so it's going to ask me if I want to copy over those files. And I'm just going to say cancel. But you're going to click OK and let the fonts install. That's the first group. Okay. And so we're going to go get the second group of fonts. Now just right here below these other files that I told you were Photoshop and um, Adobe uh, PDF file, you're going to left click just below that and then hold your shift key down and right click on the far right one. That's the second group of fonts. We're going to right click, copy those as well. We're going to open our fonts folder that I've dropped down here at the bottom. And what I can do now, if I wanted to, is I could just click 
and drag it over and drop it or copy paste it either way. Again, mine are already installed, so I'm just going to click cancel. I'm going to close this folder out. Now that I have all my fonts installed in my fonts folder on my C drive, I can close this out and I can also uh, close my flash drive out. Okay? Um, so, yours, you can save your fonts anywhere. Again, create a folder or like me, I saved it on my flash drive so that I can transport it from PC to PC and use it mul on multiple PCs and, mul and multiple programs. So uh, that might be an option for you as well. But should you want to save it somewhere or save those files somewhere on your uh, PC, you have that option too by creating a folder, which we did here. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Corel Draw and if your Corel Draw is already open because we've installed the fonts, you'll need to reopen it and refresh the Corel Draw application so that the fonts can pull in to your application with a fresh a fresh execute. So mine I've already saved prior to um, this and I've opened my Corel, which I'm just going to click. It's already here and this is just a little demonstration of how things can look. You can change the colors uh, choose your fonts, the ovals or the diamonds. And uh, we're going to go back and I'm going to show you how to use these fonts. You're going to click your uh, text tool over here, your F8 or your text tool, highlight it. Now we need to find the fonts in your drop down. Up here, once you click the highlight for your text tool, you drop down and you can find the fonts that. Uh, we've installed. Now with some of these are two letters and some of them are three letters. So depending on how many letters you want, uh, you would choose uh, which font you wanted to use. Okay, so we're just going to click one to start out with. And we're going to change it to 150 points. Let's just go ahead and go 200 points. And uh, we're going to now if you read your instruction, it's going to tell you uh, to, to type a question mark to get your actual rec or your diamond shape or your circle, depending on which font you've chosen. Okay, so your question mark will create that circle. So we're going to minimize. And I'm just going to show you how to do it without bouncing back to the instruction, but I do want to show you that you're going to have a five-step instruction on your PDF. So I'm going to hold my shift key and my question mark, and that creates my oval shape. Uh, now, depending on what color I want to use, I could have clicked a different color and then clicked my shift and question mark and created that at any color I wanted to. Okay, I can backspace, come over here and choose a color, hold my shift key and my question mark, and now I have blue. So that's how that works. And let's say I want to make the inside uh, green. I'll click my green. And if I type a lowercase v for my first initial, Vicky, um, it'll place it over to the left side. Okay. If I type, I should hold my shift key and type a uppercase w then it'll place it on the right side. Let's say I want to make it green. Shift W and I have green. Okay, now still from here I can still type, come back over here and type my lowercase v and I have VW. And that's how that works. Uh, should you have a middle initial that you were to type, uh, you would do it a little different. So in the instructions it says that if you have a, um, a middle initial you would use um, this third instruction here. The left hand letters are located at the lowercase position. Type to the left. And then in the center you would have your large letter which would be W. So you would type your last name would be W would go in the center. So keep in mind lowercase uh, you would do your first name, lowercase v, 
your middle initial would be shift W and then in order you would do the right side lowercase my middle initial is C so I would type a C so it would be VWC and that's how that would work um, except when you got to 5 right here you can see that the right hand letters are somewhat trickier to locate use this chart so A would be 1 over on your, on your numeric pad and for instance uh, your Q would be the AND sign so make sure if you're using the three letter uh, monogram like up here that you're using this instruction here okay so it's a step-by-step -step instruction if you follow this one through five you can't go wrong also with the video uh, you can't go wrong with changing colors so I'm going to minimize this instruction again and then we're going to move this down onto the page so again uh, your three letter monograms are in here your diamond shaped monograms are in here and you can change it as well just by clicking on it and you can change your monogram type to something else or this for instance so once it's once you've selected it and it's in this border with these nodes around it you can also come over here and just click on things and try different shapes so you see how that changes okay so you can change your mind at any point and do something different now this is the three letter monogram alright and so to show you how that works let's do a little demonstration here and backspace backspace um, I'm going to delete. Okay. And so what we want to do, we have the three letter monogram. And let's just click outside of that because get rid of that box. Three letter monogram. Let's go up to 200 points. And we're going to take, again, shift question mark. There's my diamond shape. Uh, now I'm ready for my first initial. So I'm going to type V. I'm ready for my second initial. I'm going to hold my shift key type W now I'm ready for uh, my C and if I remember right I think that's a 3 okay so it is C is a 3 minimize and I'm gonna go over to my numeric pad and type 3 and now I have my three initials and that's how that works so again I hope this has helped and this would work with any of your Corel draw applications with the digital font download from Condi Systems, new on our web page. I'm excited about it. I hope you're as excited as I am. Be sure to get your digital downloads and work them with your iPhone covers, your towels, and all the other products we have. And stay tuned for more videos from Vicki. Thank you for your time.